After Cyclone Jasper hit, our honeymoon turned into a survival mission with an airport underwater, crocodiles in the streets and a non-stop 14-hour drive. But we weren't leaving Australia without seeing one of life's most unique creatures, the duck-billed platypus. What's up guys, it's me Mr Bradley and today we're learning about one of the strangest creatures on planet Earth, the duck bill platypus. About two years ago in December 2023, me and Magella were getting ready for our honeymoon, the trip of a lifetime. We were on our way to Australia. We planned it for years, the Great Barrier Reef, the Daintree Rainforest, sunshine, beaches and adventure. What we didn't plan for was a cyclone. We hoped it might pass until our plane literally did a U-turn mid-air. Because the runway was underwater, the daintree was being ripped apart, and crocodiles were literally sewing through the streets of Cairns. We landed back in Brisbane, tired, disappointed, and trying to salvage the trip. On the map sat one last hope. Yungela National Park, home to a creature I dreamed of seeing my entire life. The humble duckbill platypus. After 14 hours of driving the day before and 3 hours of driving in the morning, we finally reached the misty mountains of Yungela National Park. Yungela National Park is a lush tropical mountain rainforest filled with waterfalls, misty valleys and trickling creeks that wind through the forest. It's home to many unique plants and animals including the elusive Duckbill platypus. Okay, here we are in what's this place called? We're not allowed to talk. Just drove 47 hours and we're not allowed to talk. Right, we're here in Yungela National Park. We have one thing, one thing only. Duckbill platypus. Which, which, if you're normal like me, you probably don't really know or care what. We drove for 14 hours solid from Brisbane. After our flight to Cairns was cancelled, we had to stop and sleep in a lay-by on the side of the road at 2 a.m. And we still got up at 5 a.m. and drove for another two and a half hours. Magella was thrilled. This is my honeymoon. What is a duck bill platypus? I hear you all ask the question I have been asking for the past 12 hours that we've been driving to see this creature. Yes. The duck bill platypus is a rare mammal Once. Once. that lays eggs. Not like all other mammals that birth things. It's got a radar on its beak so it can find things like food and Wi-Fi and it looks really cool. So we're just looking for the, the duckbill platypus and basically what we're looking for is a tiny little aquatic mammal that has a slender sleek body, webbed feet and a bill that looks kind of like, well, a duck's bill, of course. So they are normally spotted sewing up and down in this river, in Broken River in Australia. The only place platypuses are found in the world are Australia. We waited, and we waited, and we waited. Although we saw beautiful kingfishers, turtles, and moorhens, they weren't what we had endured 14 hours of travel and three hours of sleep for. As time ticked on, and still no platypus, we began to worry. Everything else in this honeymoon had gone wrong, and now, just ripples, bubbles, and false alarms. Disappointed, we headed upstream in a final hope to see the duck-billed platypus. Right in front of us is a duck-billed platypus. One of the strangest creatures on planet Earth. Look at that for yourself. Ah. See a scratch itself? It was like noodle. Look 
and Andre goes. So every few moments he comes back up for air and then he'll dive back down to the bottom of the creek and use that bill to kick up the dirt and residue at the bottom looking for insects. So duckbill platypuses or platypi <laughs> have many crazy adaptations. Number one, they have webbed feet, which helps them to move through the water because they are aquatic. Another adaptation is their bill. Not only is it shaped like a spatula or spoon to dig up the slimy residue at the bottom of the river to look for food, but it's also equipped with electroreceptors, which means it can detect electric impulses off of its prey. The thick waterproof fur keeps it warm in the cold rivers and its flat tail stores fat for energy. Males even have a venomous spur on the back of their legs, a very rare feature among mammals that they use to defend themselves during mating season. How excited are you? Eureka! And we've just spotted the mighty duckbill platypus over here. <laughs> There's one. It's just a turtle again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so duckbill platypuses have baffled scientists when they first were discovered. It was known as a classification conundrum. They were not sure how to classify duckbill platypus. The reason for that is number one, it's a little bit like a bird. It's got a bill like a bird and it lays eggs, but it's a mammal. Don't have feathers, they have fur instead. And they also produce milk for their young. In fact, the milk, I think, comes out of sweat glands. It almost, they almost sweat out the milk instead of them suckling off of the duckbill platypus. Duckbill platypus home is called. A burrow is underwater, so they will swim under the water through an underwater tunnel. And yeah, just keeps them hidden from danger. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're decent, you'll give us a sub 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 subscribe. Easy for me to say. Mm -hmm. If not, just, just leave it there and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get over it. I'll, I'll not lose any sleep. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.